Resident Evil 4. You'd think that would make them come running. It's like, oh, something stepped on the explosion thingy. Or someone tripped the explosion wire. Let's go see what little bits he turned up in. Maybe we'll have a decent meal for once in this dilapidated village. And what's that? Someone's in the closet? Do they need help coming out to their parents? Okay. Think? <clears throat> oh. You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Feeble humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up! Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Do something, cop! After you! Now! Huh. 
It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. And who said button mashing is bad? It's the only way I get through those quick time events. Ding. Over here, stranger. And if I was going to be completely assholish, I'd make a Mega 64 reference. But of course, I know how much they hate it when people do the. Fuck. Mind blank. Why do I fucking do that all the time? It ruins everything I say. What are you buying? What are you selling and such forth junk? I suck at it, so I should just shut my mouth now and just do the rest of this LP in silence. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> okay, now that I'm equipped a bit better, we can move on. actually have a shitload of healing items, which I'm happy about. Means that all those annoying boss battles to come shall be a little bit easier. And just in case it glitches... Here we go! I really should be more patient with my shooting. Especially when it's just one guy. Considering I have all the time in the world. Oh. That's one way to make use of those guys. Oh fuck. I thought I had a bit more time and he decided to run. Asshole. Seriously, how many shots to the crotch can you take? Ah, oh, fuck. Reloaded then. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, fuck. That calls for some health. Fall over already. Give me your item. Okay. When in doubt, execute. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, you know. There go all my meticulously saved up healing items. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. 